Hello folks, this is Shara, and welcome to the video. I started us outside for this episode, so you could admire our newly mowed lawn. So let's get this going. See, all it really takes is a new coat of paint and some fresh furniture to make this look, make this look like an actual house and not a shack. Alright, what's on the menu? Let's go with this next one. Hi, I've got some trees on my lot. My grandfather planted them. They've grown so big, they've overshadowed the entire lot. Nothing's growing underneath them, and I've been dreaming of a flowery garden and catching some sun on my deck. I need, I need you to cut down at least two of them. Can I count on you? Oh, and I really want a small pond by the deck. All that's needed is to remove the trees and place a pond. I'll take care of the flowers myself. Thanks, Catherine S. So these two little trees here are the ones we're going to have to cut down. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new tool. Getting rid of big trees requires cutting them down first. This is where an axe comes in handy. Remember that, for safety reasons, the tree has to be cut as low as possible. Obviously this makes sense. Also, I don't know if I've seen this plant in the, in the buy menu, but this is pretty neat looking. Alright then. Gotta cut these guys, so... Time for an axe. Oh, by the way, I think I'd forgotten to mention, but um, in this game, in the options menu, you can actually choose from a number of different options for your hands. I have the female hands on as default, but there's male hands, a zombie set of zombie hands after the Halloween update, and after the new Cyberpunk DLC, we also have uh, like cyborg hands as well. I'm gonna stick with these for now, but I might play around with some other hands later, just for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have to deal with that. I, I appreciate how it just sinks into the world. My old man would have appreciated that. He, uh, I think I had, I don't know if I had mentioned in a previous episode that my dad did, has done Christmas trees his whole life. He also has done his fair share of logging. And uh, pretty sure he would have appreciate he would appreciate it being a touch easier because uh, he had a he's had a, some branches and fall on him in his lifetime, including um, there was an incident where a tree branch fell and caused the chainsaw he was using to kind of fall back and whack him upside the head. Obviously, he survived. But he does have a nasty scar. Alright. Not entirely sure where they want us to put this, but somewhere in this square, so I guess I'll just put it there. I do enjoy the bird noises in this. These actually sound like some of the birds I'm familiar with from living in New England. Needs more chickadees, though. So this was a wicked short little cute job. So let's finish this off. I'll take four twenty dollars. Getting rid of those two trees does definitely open up the space a little bit, but it feels kind of empty. So it's a good thing the character was mentioning flowers. We had a Christmas tree at the top of a hill near our trailer growing up. My dad had planted it when we first moved there when I was, I think, two. And uh, just before we had to leave, in, when I was 14, he cut it down and used it as a Christmas tree indoors. That was a... Uh, he actually had to cut the thing more, almost in half, to make it fit because 10-year-old uh, trees are extremely, extremely tall. Okay, next job. 
Additional walls. Good afternoon. I need some alterations made to my two-room house. My daughter is now three, and we feel it is time that she have her own room. Please divide the bedroom into two rooms, and make sure the new rooms both have doors that connect to the corridor. Could you please also put in a new bed and remove and sell the crib? Yours faithfully, Thomas Johnson. So this unlocks several different tools. The ability it gives us the hammer, and it lets us build uh, walls and half walls. Alrighty then. I like the aesthetic. I'm, a, I'm kind of a sucker for blue, white, and wood tones. Oh! There's actually a thing to fix here. Might as well do this first. To a certain degree, some aspects of, th of these jobs are actually seem to be slightly randomly generated. Like the last time I did this job on a different profile, I did not have to fix this. So, they've tiny little differences here and there. Well, there's that. So, let's see. I get to break out the hammer. <laughs> so I'm just going to start down here. I kind of wish I could do this in real life, actually. I bet it would be pretty satisfying before you got exhausted. This game is sometimes funny about walls like this. Sometimes you'll just have bits and pieces that hover in midair for a while coming down. Alrighty. Well, there's that. So we just got... Oh! This isn't quite done. I do like how apparently that wall was just sheetrock. Or, yeah, I guess sheetrock's the word. And no, like, uh, wooden frame to that wall at all. I just earned a thingamajig, a perk, so let's do that. I'm actually gonna choose a faster demo, I think. Oh yeah, and I forgot I had um, done this, so. Okay, I just chose those sort of arbitrarily. So first things first, bye. Now I gotta build the wall. Now, this little red bit is a liar because if you look on the mini map, it's showing you where you're about to place the thing. Uh, this is not where they want us to place it. They want us to place it here. So I don't know why that red bit of wall is there, but it's a liar. <laughs> Easily distracted? The answer is yes. I'm gonna just see the thing is we don't have to do this uh, to paint the walls after we place them. We won't get any extra money for it and we won't uh, get penalized for it. But it would bother me deeply to not uh, paint these walls after I place them. So I am going to do that. My character can no longer fit through, but the paint can. Ha, ah, paint can. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave my I'll leave puns to my other friends. Yeah, I could definitely just leave this as uh, 
bare, uh, whatchamacallit, bare brick, but I hate the look of it in this particular room. Exposed brick looks nice in, like, sort of a rustic setting, but not among the rest of this relatively modern furniture. Plus, like I had mentioned, uh, every time you do something, you get a little bit of XP. So, it's an excuse for me to get up some painting points. There's a couple of houses later on that I can't wait to show you folks. Some of them are pretty interesting. The one that re was recently added with the Cyberpunk uh, uh, expansion DLC, which was free by the way, uh, is pretty neat. There's also a couple of old ones from an, the Halloween update, and those are really cool. I'm just gonna move this so I can put in that bed. Oh. Hmm. Actually, this, this right here could have solved my problem. The built wall is already painted. Well, now I won't have to paint again after this. Let's see. There we go, another quick job done. Oh wait, no. No, it's not done. I'm not at 100% per the little thingy at the on the right. So let's go hunt down what needs to be done still. Nothing in this room. This is outside. What about you? Oh, there it is, downstairs. I have to fix another thingy. By which I mean outlet. Oh, let me show you what happens if you stop halfway through this install. That's not, uh, that's not dangerous at all. Just sparking. Like with the water, um, if you stop halfway through, it, this won't catch on fire or anything. Just like that water wouldn't, uh, flood. But, uh, definitely the sparking is less than ideal. There we go. That's more like it. Five, um, so as a result of me getting more of the upgrades that give you more money for finishing jobs, yeah, that, all of that, $5,000. That's not bad. I will never not enjoy this uh, before and after picture thing. Loading screens will always show you how the house looked when you initially went into it, which means it always shows us a picture of our old place before we spruce it up. Warning, a mole has dug its way onto the lot, into the lot. Use a shovel to remove all molehills, but be careful, the malicious mole will create new ones if you don't find him. Good luck. I just mowed, sir. How rude. So technically, I think you can make it so these guys don't pop up in in options. Oh, hi, dude. Oh my god, he's just a tube with legs. That was amazing. <laughs> there we go. Those will occasionally show up on other properties and you have to get rid of them. That was... That was amazing, though. I must admit, I've never seen a mole in real life, but I have seen a bunch of woodchucks. They used to go after our garden. Quite a few occasions that my dog, Ralph, would uh, get them. Or something like that. Let's see. Walls to knock down. Recently, large rooms have become popular, which is proven by the fact that my neighbor and the neighbor of my neighbor knocked down several walls in their homes. 
I would also like to have several walls demolished in my house. The walls between the living room and the kitchen and the corridor seem unnecessary. What is more, the neighbor from across the street painted the walls in her bedroom with a bright sky blue color, and I would also love to have the same. I believe that such a professional company will deal with my request at a very low cost without any problems. Best regards, Anthony Gray. It's an excellent example of somebody trying to weasel their way into not paying you uh, what you deserve. Remember, folks, always get fair payment for whatever you do. Whether that's art or something like this. Do -do -do. Time for some destruction. See, I upgraded this to be 25% faster, and it certainly is. If nothing else, the swing is faster. This burnt orange isn't, isn't a bad color, though, for a living room. Oh! Goodbye, Mr. Wall. Oh, hey, I got another, an another perk. Let's see, what shall we do? Better hammer! And... Hmm... Let's do option to negotiate. There's that. Oh. Apparently. I didn't whack it properly enough. These are actually the light switches. Hmm, where does it want me to stop? One, two... Thank goodness it shows on the minimap, otherwise I would start destroying walls without realizing they were not the ones I was supposed to be destroying. See what I said about stuff in midair? Alright, we have a little bit left. Okay. Well, that's it for this, and now I believe... this That did open up this space a great deal, so that's nice. Bath. Bedroom. I believe this is the only thing else we have here, is to paint. So I'm not gonna argue. I don't know if I like how bright this blue is. I think I... If this were me, personally, I think I'd prefer to have the darker blue. But each to their own. Certainly brightens the room up. Oh, so this is interesting. Um, the mirror will reflect. The mirror actually updates, not quite in real time, but in pretty close. Once, watch. Did you see the reflection in the glass? It used to be a lot slower in the before. They the the devs have updated it so the mirrors update faster. It used to be you could be five minutes into a job and they wouldn't update. The fact that they have updated it at all is kind of impressive, given how many other details the devs have had to do for this. So it's neat. That little noise, of course, means that we could end this job if we so desired. Which would be hilarious. Given the tone that this particular customer took with us, saying, you should be able to do it at a low price. Mm, sure, I can do a low price. I'll give you exactly what you paid for, though. Which would be like half this room painted. <laughs> Remember, 
to value your time and skills, folks. If you're spending time on stuff, you deserve to get paid. not have to get another paint bucket for this. Let's see, that's not everything because I still these still count. I do enjoy the fact that I can like apparently reach from up here like I'm Gumby or Luffy. Or Mr. Fantastic. Or anyone else with weird rubber arms. Oof, that- I just barely made it without having to buy a new one. Alright, so let's finish this out. Yeah, that definitely brightens stuff up. Oh, I forgot to paint that little, aw, oh, that little strip of blank brick. Oh well. <laughs> I love how they did, they showed that room even though we didn't do anything to it. And also, the bathroom. <laughs> the house of a real man is no place for children's toys. Okay, my dude. H him and the one the single lady get very angry if you try to sell them a if you try to sell a house that has kids' toys in it. But okay, I think that's it for this episode, folks. Next time we'll do a job or two and see where we are with unlocking tools. We have uh, these two left to go. So alrighty. Take, make sure to take care of yourselves and each other, and until we meet again, have a good one. Bye-bye.